Hello, it's Helder here, and today I'm going to be working once again with my Wicked Edge 130 sharpener. And I will be sharpening this knife. Uh, things are a little bit different this time because this isn't my knife. I'm actually sharpening this for a friend of mine. His name is Charlie. I was approached a few weeks ago by Wicked Edge, and they explained to me how they were running this uh, campaign called Paying It Forward. And they wanted to know if I was interested in participating. And basically, for me to participate, I had to pick someone uh, in my life that I wanted to pay something forward to. Uh, they had suggested first responders, since I work with a lot of first responders. And I thought about my buddy Charlie. Uh, with COVID and everything that's been going on, he is a teacher at the local high school, a science teacher. And I feel that they really haven't gotten as much credit as they should for everything that they've been going through over the last couple years. So I'm going to dedicate this segment to Charlie and pay it forward to not only a friend, but one of my local educators. And uh, I'm sure you realize how important that is, especially this day and age. So let's get started. So I'm here with Charlie, and Charlie chose this specific knife. It's actually a Schrade made in the USA. And I can tell you one thing, this has certainly gotten a tremendous amount of use and is in need of some serious TLC. So definitely a good choice as far as uh, needing an edge and a nice sharp edge. But why exactly did you choose this specific knife, Charlie? Uh, this is my I do everything knife. I do everything with this. And, you know, I don't sharpen it as good as I should. But I do sharpen every once in a while. But I'm, I realize I'm starting to get a little, it's getting a little tough to use. But, I mean, it's a perfectly good blade. I mean, why not just uh, have a hell of a sharpen? Huh? I agree. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, let's get started. Got it. Thank you. Uh, and uh, I'd say hopefully within about 20 minutes or so, you might not even recognize this knife. <laughs> At least you're not going to recognize the uh, cutting edge on it. Okay, so we're going to get started here with Charlie's knife. Since this is relatively beat up, I want to start pretty much with my roughest grain stone, which is going to be the 100. And I'm going to work my way through to the 3000s, giving Charlie's knife a very fine sharp edge for the purpose of this demonstration i'm gonna just kind of rip right through it and get charlie's knife sharpened i have other tutorials where i go into much more detail on the setup process and the full process of sharpening a knife and utilizing the wicked edge 130 system and if you're interested in that what i'll do now is i'll place those links in the top right as well as in the comments field below so i went ahead and set up charlie's knife here on the wicked edge 130 sharpener and one thing that I just wanted to point out briefly is on the blade itself, where you see, let's say, the curvature start and let's say end, right? Where it starts just becoming a little bit more straight. This part of your blade is where you want to line up with the back of the vise. It usually is the sweet spot. So keep that in mind. All right, now that I have my knife placed in the holder, I'm going to go ahead and use my Sharpie here to mark the edge in order to help me find my angle. Once again, I go into a lot more detail on my other tutorials, so be sure to check them out if you want to no learn more. So I got my line on there now. Now it's time to find that correct angle. Go ahead and take one of my light stones. Let's say the 1500, because I don't want to take off too much metal while I'm trying to find this angle. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Just got to set the angle on the other side and we'll be good to go. Okay, so as I mentioned, this knife was in pretty bad shape or is in pretty bad shape. So I want to go ahead and start with the 100. I want you to keep in mind that when using the lower grit stones, uh, especially like this 100 grit, it takes off a lot of metal. Uh, if you think about it, it's their job. So only use as many passes as you need. The more experience that you gain with the sharpener, the easier it's going to become. You could tell that 100 grit was definitely doing a job here. Taking off that metal. Getting us started. Creating these little burrs here and getting rid of them. 
and time to switch over to the 200s. Little smoother there. Starting to take its shape. Since it is the holiday season, keep in mind that the Wicked Edge Sharpeners make an amazing gift for that special someone in your life or even a well-deserved present for yourself. Keep an eye out for all the available holiday deals, giveaways, and savings that are currently going on. So right now I think we're pretty good to go on the 200s. Remember when you do switch out your stones, be sure to wipe them down keep them clean, keep them uncontaminated. Always an important rule. Ooh. That's feeling good, that's feeling sharp. That's feeling great. I mean, I'll be honest with you, this blade for everyday use is good to go the way it is right now. Once you start to feel an even flow with no resistance, it's time to switch out the stones or end the sharpening. So that's feeling pretty great right there. Sure you'd have no issues at camp or even hunting right now, Charlie. Uh, so remember once again to wipe your, uh, wipe your stones down as soon as you're done with them and since I do have the 3000s here, I'm going to go ahead and give it a couple passes here for Charlie. These higher grit stones like the 3000 will give the edge on Charlie's knife a beautiful sheen while making it razor sharp. Uh, we're definitely good to go here. Go ahead, get this off. That's looking great. Let's see what Charlie thinks. <laughs> see what you think. Wow, the edge, the edge makes it feel brand new again. It looks good too, right? It looks the part. Once you go with those higher grits and put it, it gives it that factory finish up on top, nice and shiny. All right, Charlie, so you got a little piece of paper there. Let's uh, test it out, see how sharp it is. And you let me know. You're Mr. Science. That's looking pretty good. Think you could shave with it? <laughs> if I shave it, if I shave it, if you got, you know, want to be risky. All got right through, no problem. No effort. Good stuff. Good stuff. 